Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome to my frugal life. I apologize for my voice, I've been so sick lately, but I'm finally getting better so I can film this video. So this video is gonna be more money saving tips and this is part 14. We all know that um, gas is so expensive lately. Um, so when I drive to work or anywhere else, I check all the gas station on my way, I see, and I note the price, like here it's this much and here's this much. So I figure out which one is the cheapest and I stop um, for gas on my way home uh, on the cheapest gas station that's right on my way because, I mean, you can use Gas Buddy and other, um, websites to check for cheaper gas but um, I would prefer not to drive extra for cheapest gas and get fill it up on my way home so this was tip six, number 64 and tip number 65 is uh, try to educate yourself and learn as much as you can about finances and all the financial stuff how it works uh, how mortgages work, how credit card works, how all kinds of insurances work, whether you need them or not, and all those things. Because once you know all this, you're not gonna make so many mistakes, like maybe not putting down big enough payment for your house and end up wasting money on PMI, because lots of people don't know this until they get into it already so and also this is a good thing like if you know all about finances um, you can teach your kids while they're still young and they didn't get into any kind of financial stuff yet but they'll be already prepared and to learn more about finances you don't really have to go to school I mean you can if you want to work in finances but for your own use you don't really have to go and pay for any classes um, you can just learn by reading stuff online or watching some YouTube and you know this way you will know more what stuff is good to have and what stuff is better not to get into tip number 66 is to use bar soap instead of uh, body wash we only use body wash if we get it as a gift um, but I never buy body wash I used to buy some uh, when I was able to get it with coupons for free then yes it was cheaper than the soap I used to buy it then but body wash um, doesn't last as like a bottle of body wash will not last you as long as the bar of soap um, in our house bar of soap in the shower because we all use the one same shower lasts us about two weeks and uh, I don't I'm not sure how much how much time the um, body wash would last but I know that bar soap costs like 50 cents or less sometimes with coupons I can find it I can and a good sale combine and then I bought a um, rebate all together combined i was able to get free bar soap uh, before and i still have some of it so probably half of the time i can get bar soap for really cheap like less than 50 cents a bar and even if you end up paying a dollar for a bar it's still way cheaper than getting body wash also if you have little kids they will not spill the soap but they might spill the body wash like when my kids were younger um they were spilling shampoo a lot like they would s sit it, they would put it up and it would fall and it before that you know it it'll spill because they're kids but now they know better than they don't spill the shampoo now but before when we, they were younger they would spill shampoo a lot and i'm sure the same thing would happen to body wash number 67 it's okay to skip holidays especially those holidays you don't care about if you don't care about halloween or thanksgiving or anything uh fourth of july maybe i don't know mother day father day president's day memorial day i don't even know all of them but if you don't care about any particular holiday it's okay to skip them and not celebrate them at all like we don't always celebrate 4th of July I mean we might celebrate because 
like we might have a barbecue but if i'm too busy and working that day we're not gonna celebrate it um we might celebrate it the next day or day before or might not celebrate it at all um we do not skip anybody's birthday we do celebrate everybody's birthday in the family but if your finances are tight and you don't care about a specific holiday it's okay to skip it it's okay not to decorate your house for christmas you know you don't have to do it every year if you don't care about those decorations you don't really have to do it like last year we did not have a christmas tree we only had some lights and that's about it um i don't think we will have any christmas trees next year or the year after that because it just takes too much time to put it up and my kids just don't care much about it they like the lights and i like the lights and of course we like the food but that's about it tip number 68 once your kids are old enough to count like they can count the things up to like once they're in the, in the kindergarten or something they can count things already so they can have their own money to spend for their wants like whenever they want a toy a candy or whatever something that's not in your budget they can spend their own money for that they can earn this money for chores or they you can do whatever allowance or whatever or they can get the money for birthdays or money for like my kids get money for birthdays for holidays like for Christmas instead of gift they get money um, just because it's easier for me this way I don't have to wrap anything um, also they get money for good grades if they get a statement the more A's they have the more money they get for their grades so they do not get money for chores that's just because it's it's their responsibility as a part of the family to do the chores because I do the chores too and nobody pays me so once they know how to count and do some basic math, they can have their own money instead of, so whenever they're in the store with you and they want you to buy something for them, you can say, use your own money. This is not a need, this is a want. This way they can know the difference between want and need. So, and a lot of time, if they ask you to buy something, they want it, but they want you to buy it but if you tell them you you have to use your own money for, for that a lot of times they choose not to buy it because they would rather keep the money so this way first of all you don't end up with lots of things that they don't care about a week later also um you can you're not gonna spend lots of money on stuff that is not a necessity and also it teaches some more responsibility for your kids so they'll become smarter adults once they get older so thank you guys so much for watching if this video was helpful to you don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and share with others so they can save more money too and i apologize for my voice again i'll try not to be sick in my next video and um thank you so much for watching and save more money and be frugal